Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm preparing broccoli cheese rice casserole. For my ingredients, I'll be using freshly cooked broccoli, jalapeno cheese, sauteed vegetables, three cups of brown rice, cream of mushroom, shredded cheese, one tablespoon of oregano and Old Bay, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, accent, and cayenne, one teaspoon of cumin and onion powder. Now let's cook. Get a large mixing bowl and pour in your steamed broccoli. You can use fresh or frozen broccoli, but just steam it before placing it in this bowl. Now I'm going to add in three cups of brown rice. The way I cook my rice is kind of different from everybody else. While the water is boiling, I like to place in one bouillon cube and one teaspoon of vegetable oil. Hey, it gives my rice flavor. Hmm. I might not use half a cup of cooked rice so my little taste tester can let me know how my rice is flavored. Now I'm going to add in my sauteed vegetables. I sauteed onions, garlic, and bell peppers. Once I have all my ingredients in, I'm going to give them a quick mix. Let's start seasoning. I'm going to add in my dry ingredients, one teaspoon of cumin and onion powder, a half a teaspoon of accent, cayenne, and black pepper, one tablespoon of oregano and Old Bay. You want to combine all these ingredients. You want to continue to combine until you're comfortable enough that all your dry spices have flavor throughout your dish. Now I'm going to add in this whole bowl of jalapeno cheese. You want to make sure that you combine this cheese with the rest of your ingredients. While you're combining this cheese, if you feel like you don't have enough, just add some more cheese. I mean, it is called broccoli cheese rice casserole. Thank you. 
At this time, you want to preheat your oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Add in your cream of mushroom. That mushroom flavor will give your casserole a more creamy texture, but extra flavor. It's very delicious. After mixing all the ingredients, transfer them into your baking pan. In your aluminum pan, you're going to add in your mixture. You want to spread out your broccoli cheese casserole evenly throughout the pan. Once you have all your broccoli cheese casserole in your pan, next you're going to add on a top layer of shredded cheese. Let's add the top layer of cheese. You can add the four cheese blend. You can add sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, pepper jack cheese. You can add whatever cheese you prefer. There's a lots of varieties of cheeses out there in the world. Once I finish adding on the top layer of shredded cheese, I'm going to add my last ingredient, which is my breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs gives your casserole that little crunchy texture that you need, but it's, it's all flavorful.
I'm going to place my casserole in my preheated oven uncovered for about 30 minutes or until the top layer of shredded cheese has melted. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.